Hey guys and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to go over how to connect a DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor to your sauna and as well as connect it to HomeKit using a Raspberry Pi. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is wire the DHT22 sensor to the sauna. So make sure that um, the sauna is not connected to any power and it's isolated so you don't shock or even harm yourself. Okay, so let's wire the pins. Connect data to GPIO 14, the farthest pin from the button, VCC to the 3.3 volt uh, pin, and ground to the ground pin. The ground and data pins are right next to each other, and the VCC pin is the utmost pin right next to the button. So first, make sure you have the Tasmoda firmware installed on your Sonoff. Go to Configuration, go to Configure Module, then you want to scroll down and where you see it says GPIO 14 sensor, you want to click on that. It'll say none. Go down to DHT22. Make sure you click on that. Then you want to click save. And it's going to say the device will restart in a few seconds. So in a few seconds, the device will actually restart. If you have any lights or anything connected to that, it'll temporarily turn off for about just half a second and then turn right back on. So mine just did that, so I'm going to go back to main menu. And if you wired it properly, you should be seeing the DHT22 temperature and DHT22 humidity showing up right there. So um, I can toggle the light on and off, and you can see the sensor should be updating every second. So yeah, now let's go back to our Raspberry Pi and finish the software configuration for HomeKit. Okay, so on our Raspberry Pi, this tutorial assumes you've already installed all the software from the previous Sonoff tutorial I did to control the outlet through Siri. So the first thing you want to do is go to the hap-node.js folder and then run this command as shown. Make sure the case is correct and all the spacing is correct as well or else it will not run properly. And click enter. Yeah, so double check you have everything correctly. And then there you can see that the commands ran through and that means that it's installed all the files needed. So now you can go to the accessories folder and run the command sudo. So run ls to make sure that you have both files. So have the temperature sensor and humidity sensor. You could have other files, but make sure these two have been added. And then run the command sudo nano sonoff humidity access underscore accessory.js. Make sure case is all correct. And then you'll enter the file. Go to the second section of uh, variables, as you can see here. So for name, this is what you want uh, HomeKit to recognize the device as. So in my case, I'm going to be naming it Secondary Bedroom. For Sonoff UDID, uh, you can ignore that. And then, But for username, change at least one number or letter. So in my case, I changed one number uh, and one letter. And then MQTT name, this is the topic you set your son off to. So in my previous tutorial, you could change that and set it to whatever you like. Make sure um, you set it to the same thing as it is in the son off uh, configuration. And then make sure you have all your parameters correctly set once again. Do control X, Y and then enter to save the file and exit and then do sudo nano sonoff temperature underscore accessory.js and we're going to run the same drill again so change the name to whatever you want the um, temperature sensor to be recognized as in HomeKit so in my case I'm naming it once again secondary bedroom ignore UDID then you can change the username so I'm changing one letter and one number once again and a third letter okay MQTT name Set this to the same MQTT topic you had before. If you did my previous video, this should be very simple. Make sure you check that. Do control X, Y, and then enter to save the file. Go back to the previous directory using CD dot dot, and then run the command sudo node bridged core dot js. Click enter. And uh, if you see that there are no errors after hap nodejs is starting, that means you've successfully installed everything properly. And on HomeKit, you should be seeing both devices. So if you already followed my forever tutorial, uh, when you reboot the Pi, all the devices should immediately appear. If you didn't follow the forever tutorial, uh, take a look at the description. That'll automatically start your node at boot. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment in the description uh, if you have any questions. Or even faster, contact me on Twitter at QuickPi. Uh, please be subscribed and hope it all works.